come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits? The Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> Hello, listener. Oh. <laughs> That's a lot calmer than relax. <laughs> Hello, listener. Hello, Hello, listener. I want you to relax, because right now the Saturday Night Freak Show <laughs> is down. totally in control of your auditory We're here experience. We're to take care of you. We started Are we doing as, ASMR stuff now? Is that what's happening? <laughs> the what? <laughs> the ASMR videos. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like You're to know rub more? some paper <laughs> up against the mic? <laughs> is, that, is that how that works? Yeah. We started off as a group of fine folks who uh, were watching movies and talking about them, and then somehow we turned into internet radio superstars, including Sean, Holly, Michaela, and I'm Colin. Were we fine folks before? We're not now? We're not, not anymore. So now we're internet Fame radio superstars. Yeah. You, you do this long <laughs> enough and you're just a fucking asshole by the time you get to it. It's like, ah. Uh, you're going to judge movies. Well, I'll tell you what. Uh, why don't you stop what you're doing? Go over to wherever you found us. Give us a star rating, a like, a thumbs up. And you don't completely stop what you're doing because you're listening to us. So you can push you on just like pause. While you're listening. Yeah. Yeah. While you're listening. Yeah. Who's yeah. telling them to turn it back on? Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> Uh, because all of that stuff uh, helps us get found by other like-minded folks like yourself who are into the same kind of stuff that we are. Mm-hmm. So, um, And you can also join the club by writing to us, and we'll read your comments on the air later in Igor's Mailbag. You can get a hold of us on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. By email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Or you can follow along on Instagram at Saturday Night Freak Show. Tonight's movie was chosen by Michaela. Michaela, what did we watch tonight? We watched In Time. From the year... 2011. Oh, I was going to say 2013. I was like watching it going like, yeah. this is like vintage 2013. Mm, no. 2011. 2011. Okay. Directed by... Andrew Nichol. Who uh, we know from? You guys, he's done good stuff, actually. Like, I'm not even going to hate he on him. Before. He's done good stuff. He, <laughs> he wrote and directed Gattaca. I like that movie. And Lord of War, which I really like. I like yeah, Lord, Lord of War. Yeah, Lord of War is yeah. dope. That movie's dope. Yeah. I, haven't seen uh, it. I haven't seen it. You uh, should. Yeah. It's so it's, dope. Uh, it's Nicolas Cage and Jared Leto and their arms dealers. Arms dealers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, and he also wrote The Truman Show and The Terminal. Bravo. I mean, so, Bravo. He's a good uh, writer Show. I like that movie. The Terminal broke my heart. Yeah, I think it's a well-written movie. Yeah, I, had to, you know, I, had to, I, I don't like think it. I ever I haven't need seen to watch it in a long it again, time. Right? Yeah. Yeah. I haven't seen it in a while, but I, I liked I it when like I saw it. I don't like seeing Tom Hanks sad. <laughs> well, who does? <laughs> it's we like all enjoy a puppy, you know. Like no we one. We all likes enjoy that. him yelling, which just, is fine. Yeah, I want him to be going crazy, but I don't want him to be sad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, this movie stars the in- incomparable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is he incomparable? He might be comparable. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Justin Timberlake. Who we would know from, no. Al- <laughs> Alpha, Alpha Dog. <laughs> from Alpha, from Alpha Dog. Al- from Actually, he was, Social Network. Social Network. He, he was yeah. really good in Alpha Dog. Is he still He's good in Alpha Dog, yeah. yeah. In movies? Not lately. No, he's in time. He, he did a voice in Trolls. Oh, <laughs> oh did he? No. He did, he did I Trolls. I love that movie, it's so cute. <laughs> he does things. <laughs> he's got more focus on music lately, but that? he still does things. What was the movie he did with Mila Kunis? Oh, is that like friends, friends with benefits? Friends with benefits. Or is that the other one? No strings attached. Yeah. Same oh movie. God, same movie. Uh, same movie. Yeah, but same movie. With Ashton, Ashton Kutcher. Oh God, yeah. that that's a tri- that's a trivia question that will ruin your day, man. Yeah. Yeah. If they asked you who was in either of those movies, because it would be so easy. No, I wouldn't know which one. I don't, I don't which know which one. Because it came out the same. It's it's a deep impact scenario. Armageddon Armageddon scenario. Yeah. And like I can picture the covers in my head, but the faces of the people are blank. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like it I, could I feel be like any. Both, I feel anybody. like both covers have the girl buttoning up his shirt. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah, right? yeah. I think I'll bet Justin Timberlake was no strings attached. Well, I mean, he, <laughs> let's ask him. Yeah. I mean, that was his album in Sync. So yeah, uh, exactly. So uh, he's got, uh, it would make more sense. Yeah. No strings attached. I have to. Look I'm going to look up now. friends with benefits while you're. Are you going to look up no strings attached? I'm looking up Justin Timberlake. <laughs> We're doing important research right now. While, <laughs> while this research is going, friends on. with benefits is oh. Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake. I was right. No. no, you said the other No, way you around. said no strings attached. <laughs> yeah. Wait. You said no strings attached. Wait, who? Yeah. Friends with Benefits is Mila Kunis and Justin Timberlake. Oh, I thought 
No Who's strings attached is Ashton Portman? Kutcher and Natalie Portman. Oh, I thought it was backwards. Yeah, exactly. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, my God. That is my point. It is a trivia question. And I've ruin seen, okay. trivia and I've seen just, neither. Just remember, yeah. Justin Timberlake, no strings attached. The album, not yeah, the movie. Not the movie. Okay, he no, did not one, the not the other. Yeah. There you yeah. go. I'm sure, I'll remember that. God, yeah. I know, I've I, got it cleared up. If I ever run bar trivia, that's going to be like my final <laughs> round question. Be. That's a good yeah, one. That's a good question. <laughs> That'll fuck some people up. Yeah. So this is far from a romantic comedy. It's a science fiction thriller, a mm-hmm. sleek, a sexy, and sexy. What did it say in the description? It said stylish and sexy. Oh, yeah. stylish. Yeah. Sorry, not sexy sleek. and stylish. Very stylish yeah. and sexy thriller. Uh, mm-hmm. No, this one's nice. I, I mean, know. That's, that's, argue that's with like Amazon. review language Amazon reserved for the lot. '90s movies. Yeah. Sexy and stylish. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know. Um so it stars the stylish and sexy Justin Timberlake, the stylish and sexy Amanda Seyfried. Seyfried yeah. Yeah. Whatever happened to her? She's in Mamma Mia 2 this summer. What are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> what are you okay, talking about? Between uh, Red Riding Hood and Mamma Mia 2. She's done things. She's she done dated things? Justin Long. Uh, Jennifer's Body. She's done things. Okay. She's, done things. she's yeah. still saying that she's done things that were just she's not actually Love Lace. She went right. Yeah, Love Lace. Yeah. But that was still like five that years ago. That was still five years ago. I have face blindness when it comes to her. Did she's she in a movie and I just, it goes right past me. Some issues, like she was difficult to issues. work with or something like that. And then, like, like a Catherine Heigl syndrome? I don't, I I don't think so. That. I never no. heard that. I never heard either. I heard she was nice. I heard she was crazy. But Did you? Uh, yeah. Dear John, she was in that. Les Miserables? Oh, that's right. Okay. All right. So I am totally off the. And uh, oh, she was in Gringo. I want to see that movie. And Killian Murphy is also in this. Yep. Clapper. And uh, what's it? Vincent Car. Vincent Carthizer is in this. Matt Bomer, Alex Pettifer, Johnny Galecki. Johnny Galecki, who never shaves or washes. <laughs> no, convinced. never. He I mean, looks look exactly him. the same as he does in Rings. Yeah, we'll look at him in, uh, he, yeah. in Big Bang Theory. He looks, yeah, he, he I'm looks sure he's like, like whatever too. I can no, do to he, not look no, like he, that in yeah. any movie I do. <laughs> he, he needs that facial hair. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He does. All right, well, why don't you lay out what the plot of this film is for us, Michaela? What yeah, the go hell? Ahead. What, what's going on in, in time? <laughs> I'll take my best crack at it. So this takes place in the year Take 20- your time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, that's one. Oh, oh, take a drink. 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 I feel like we should oh, have a bell ring. Yeah, 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 we should. <laughs> yeah, you need to install a bell then. Yeah, we need a bell. Um, it takes place in the year 2169. Um, Does it? Yes. Oh, okay. They don't say that ever. How did you but, get that number? Uh, the internet. Oh, the internet. <laughs> yeah. Those interwebs. Um, God love bless it. those goddamn internets. Everyone stops aging at 25. Um, when you turn 25, your clock stops, which is like basically a pacemaker on your heart that is connected to a clock. Um and from there, you're given one year. And after that, you have to you, you have to keep earning your time to stay alive. If your clock runs out, you die. Time but is currency. Time is currency, um, but it's also your life source. It's everything. Um, Puns should be the secondary currency in yeah. the yeah. future. Should be. Right? And, but they start with them, and then they just stop doing them. That's well, the problem Then they the become visual jokes. Yeah. Now, I, would, I, would, I call them jokes, because I yeah. find them funny. But you see them in signage fun. and funny. everything around, and, <laughs> and I find them rather funny. They're not really jokes, but yeah. they're, they're jokes. And, and, and much like the Hunger Games, it's separated into uh, districts, but they call them time zones, because mm-hmm. it's <laughs> funny. Hilarious. I mean, yep, uh. Uh, I mean, they're using what's available to them, and yeah. they're using them in the way that... I mean, I would use them if I was forced to write this movie. I mean, they're sure. co-opting language we already have, so it yeah. makes sense. It you makes know? sense. Like, yeah. They're not. The thing is, like a lot of future movies, usually like looking at you, Demolition Man, uh, create language that doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. At least right. this movie takes language we already have and right. just like adapts it to this future, right. Right. which is to its credit. I think. Yeah. I think so too. Um, Justin Timberlake is very poor. Lives with his mom, Olivia Wilde. Which is a weird sleepwalker uh, situation because they weird. look like a couple, but mm. that's his mom because everyone stops aging at twenty five. They're poor. They live in um, time zone twelve, which is like one of the poorest time the, zones. The ghetto. 12. Yeah, the ghetto, um, which is apparently home. The ghetto is a uh, Thunder Road from Greece. <laughs> It totally it's is. that same. It's that same like aqueduct thing. Oh, that is, yeah, uh, yeah, that's the, yeah. It is the, the same place. As, yeah, and... also used in uh, Gone in sixty seconds as well. Yeah, oh, it's I'm been sure. in a ton of movies. Yeah. You, you you know it as soon as you see mm-hmm. it. Um, and he Matt Bomer is a really rich guy that has over a century on his clock. Comes to Time Zone twelve, and is basically like, I'm tired of being rich. Take all my money, JT. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time. Oh, 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 take yeah. a drink. Take a drink. Oh, there it is. 
Uh, it's really wonderful. <laughs> Don't waste my time or his dying words the, to JT. The, the writers of this movie had to have been high-fiving each other every five minutes. Uh, you it's know, one guy, of this movie. He's high-fiving himself? It's Andrew Nichol. He's, yeah. 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 He's, he's like, you're such a fucking genius, He had to have man. gotten, he's like, I need something. Give me something. And, yeah. and he's got a dude. They're just sitting around him going like, don't waste my time. Mm. So, All right, yes! well, well, let me ask you this then, because they have this nice little digital green chronometer mm-hmm. on there uh, that's like a tattoo that actually counts down and takes time. Mm-hmm. And yeah. it, gl- it actually gives off light, too, like we saw at night, that it's yeah. like a fucking glow stick. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I was going to ask you to explain to me how the time technology works, but I'm not even going to do that. Do no, we need to know how the technology in this movie works? Not it's a really. science fiction movie, but will you hurt yourself trying to Yes, figure because it out? you'll just start asking questions that cannot be answered. Yeah, okay. I don't so think so. no point I think it. that they kind of like implied when they talked about how like when they're talking about what it felt like when your clock started, how like they felt that jolt yeah. in their body. Mm-hmm. So like that to me tells you that like the clock is hooked up to your heart in one way or another. Right. Cause like how, right. was, yeah. you know, yeah. so I mean, we know that much. And I think that's enough. It's some kind of biological thing, right? Like it's, an implant or something. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's never explained if it's right. an implant or if they just yeah, kind of grow people it. this way in the mm-hmm. future, you yeah. don't know. Mm-hmm. Cause we don't even know, like nobody's pregnant. Everybody is like perennially 25 years old in the movie. Right. So mm-hmm. we see a baby though. That's true. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But Which, who the, get- the fuck would have a baby in this world? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, I mean, I guess that's the thing. It's you the dystopian m- future, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, that we're going for with this kind Can of thing. Can you imagine how much time a baby would cost, though? Like, not If just, you had to buy one? If it was all currency. Like, yeah. raising a baby, how much time oh, you would yeah. spend on raising yeah, that but baby? The idea like, being that you still, you, wor- you pay all your bills with, with time. With minutes and hours yeah. and months and all that stuff, so you're doing working a job to get paid time. So but as we see, people in the ghetto are living day to day, to day literally. So this, like, how the fuck do you afford kids. a baby? Well, it's, all, it's all. I mean, this is all real. All this is doing. You know, the only difference between this movie and real life is it's taking out like a specific things. It's taking out money, and it's just associating the two things. Uh, closer than we do in real life. Yeah, like, it's taking out the middleman. It's basically right? yeah. in, in what we do. It like it all boils down to time. So yeah. in writing this movie, they just took out the the little details in the middle money and the what cash have you. Aspect, yeah. yeah, basically they, the they currency. T- yeah, they took just, it from an allegory and made it just very literal. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But we're still kind of like I mean, since we're not supposed to actually think about the mechanics think about involved, the right? Mm-hmm. So then you're entering the realm of like parable, right? This is a, a the story is a parable then because we're not taking place in like in theory the actual, yes but I don't know if this movie delivers on that concept if, yeah you know I have some thoughts it might mm. Mm. but uh, it, we're also in a in a what do you call the this type of future it was also used in Gattaca where it's a very retro centric future. Yeah. Where they don't have cell phones, they still have pay phones, they have, like, older model muscle cars, and, you know, uh, everything's very... It's, it seems like it's kind of a inexpensive movie to make in some ways, because you're actually using the terrain that's available now, you don't have to build, like, you yeah. know, futuristic mm-hmm. buildings and do CGI mm-hmm. um, right. it's matte like, paintings. It's not only the people stopped aging at a certain point, but, like, the world stopped aging at a certain point. Yeah, like, exactly. Like, everything got to a certain point, and they just yeah. kept on going with that. Mm-hmm. Cars, buildings, mm-hmm. and all that. Which, which, which would make sense. It seems like in a world where time is the currency, I feel like recycling everything would be pivot- would be critical to their economy. Mm-hmm. You would have to reuse everything. Mm-hmm. Right. You don't want to use... I mean, when you eliminate money and using your actual time, like you're going to be like, no, reuse every goddamn thing yeah. we can. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So it makes sense. To create new things. Right. We're just going to mm-hmm. keep the stuff exactly. we have. There is some sort of like... I don't want to say cellular technology, but there's something because we do have the dispatch program through the yep. cop cars. So mm-hmm. there is something there. But like you notice the government is limiting it to you can only use this when you're working kind of thing. You yep. know, like mm-hmm. the, we're going to reserve this technology for when you're on our time. Yeah. Take a drink. Take a drink. Oh, take a drink. I need, I was, I need mm-hmm. one. Please. Uh, thank you for that. So, uh, oh, what's his name? Mike Bomer. Matt, Bo- Matt, Matt Bomer. Bomer. Sorry. Suits. He, suits, he was in suits. like American Horror Story, I think, for a yeah. while. Oh no, no, white uh, collar. White collar. God damn. He's white collar. God damn it. <laughs> he's white collar, not suits. Well, he's a suicidal white collar guy in this. Uh, yeah. An immortal who has given it like I just have no reason for living, and I know that the fix is in, and I can't stand it. So I'm going to gift my time to this unfortunate who 
wants to help me, and uh, this is Justin Timberlake. Unf- unfortunate that was born looking like Justin Timberlake. Well, our, yeah. That's the thing. It's like everybody is beautiful in the uh, in the future. Uh, they're all, you know, right? Yeah. I'm, trying, I'm just trying to think. Except for Johnny Galecki. Yeah. I know. Even yeah. if you're in the ghetto, you're still beautiful. You can still be born beautiful no matter where you are. I mean, that's every movie, though. Like... How many mo- yeah, like, but movies? Yeah, when your mom, cast pretty people of all when the your world, mom's usually. Olivia Wilde, yeah. I mean, you're in like supermodel territory, kind yeah, of, that's and like true. you know. But um, yeah, how did so, she not climb out of where she was by doing so? I guess supermodels don't exist in the well because the, the economy world. is like it's yeah, it's based on whether you were born in time or not. Yeah. It's a class <laughs> system. Oh, more Jesus than Christ, Greg. Oh fuck. <laughs> Drink, Holly. I feel like we're really blurring the lines between puns and just saying the words. <laughs> <laughs> That's hey, what this movie does. does. <laughs> this movie's fault. We're, so, listener, we're ours. giving you an accurate we're doing representation. We're the exact of, same yeah. thing as the goddamn yeah, we are. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're fucking geniuses. We're, why don't we make a movie? <laughs> All right. So, yeah, he uh, this guy uh, uh, times himself out. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. On, on the Is bridge over Thunder no. Road. No, okay. keep going. All right. No, no, no. No, you're just explaining things. You got to earn it, Colin. Yeah. Okay. It's but, not that easy. So let me get this straight, though. So he times himself out and gives his time to uh, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Because of all the people living in the ghetto, he apparently is the one like guy who thinks of other people other than himself. Who says, no, this guy is going to get, you know, because the guy's in a bar, like, flashing the fact that he's got, like, what, a hundred years or yeah. something like that. In Asking bar, to be yeah. robbed, yeah. 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 And it doesn't seem like it should be that easy to take somebody else's time. No, but it's, we it's said we weren't easy. talking about the, uh, I, the technology. We cannot. Okay. Yeah, all right. All right. At some this. points, we're going to get into that. But, Sean, okay, Sean, look at it this way. Why wouldn't the government want it to be that easy? So that creates tur- turmoil amongst the poor sure. people. You but turn them also, against each but other, like, then they don't won't that, turn against you. The, the government would know that this would eventually create an opportunity for it to turn against the people, the rich people, technically. Like, to leave these options open would eventually lead to their downfall or something bad happening to everyone else. I, I think, unless there was, I feel they would want more strict control over over time for everyone in order to make sure that they stay where they are and the rich people stay where they are. I think that's what the district or the time zones is comes into play. Sure, yeah, I and I agree. That's yeah. part and of the they control. they have the time keepers. Yeah, the time they keepers. They do. The but Killian no- Murphy characters who run around in big, long, right. black trench coats. and you Plus, know. you have yeah. the mob, which is the Minutemen. Right. That, but there's, you know. there's no central bank of time, which is mm-hmm. something that I thought... It would make sense if there was. Well, like a kinda, central control it, of the whole thing. It kind of seems like at the end of the movie there might be. I think that's what they're going that's into what at, the going into at the very end. She said, I told you there's bigger banks. And then they like had a bank. Well, yeah. I feel like that's yeah. what so they were. So maybe they're the just not end. showing it. They're yeah. just showing it. Well, because the small he only thing. went to, when he went to Greenwich, that was what, this time zone four? So like there's still three other time zones above that. So hmm. if we're playing by Hunger Games rules, that means like there's still higher, you know. Very true. Higher districts. This is a very zones. small world then. Yeah. This is all basically like one big that ass city. My, well, they showed the map and like it was a really small area. Here's, here's my next question. Um, the like main mafia guy, like the thug guy that with the blonde hair. Alex whatever. Pettifer. There you go. Yeah. Um, I am number four. Mr. Beastly. Oh, yeah, Beastly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Both of those. Yes. Yeah. Um, why does he have a British accent? Why not? Because he couldn't lose it for this movie. <laughs> if your villains are British, yeah. it makes, just makes it better. Yeah, you just really British trying hard. goons, you know, that are but robbing you. Did he just make that up? Did he like go Madonna? Is that uh, is he not British? I th- but, yeah, I thought he. I think that actor. Is, oh, hold on, no, no, hold on. I'm not, <laughs> let me look it up no, before I say. Ta- anything. I'm not talking about the actor. I'm talking yeah. about the actual character. Oh, the character. They're yeah. in like America. Why right. is he British? We, He's an immigrant. To be fair, do we know it's America? They don't. Do they ever explicitly say where they are? No. I'm just going off America. the fact that he's the only one with a British accent. Yeah. That's what I'm getting at. Like, why? It's a melting pot. I don't yeah. know. Is it? Is there a bigger world? Is the rest of the world like this? That's my question. Like, I don't understand. That, that's the thing, because when we see the map in um in the police station, it's like a weird peninsula shape, and that's it. Like, that's it really all we does see. Look it's very really, yeah. Yeah, it... it it doesn't look like anything recognizable from our world. No. That's like, what's weird about it. I need to know if he's just I, from... It looked he, like he Africa is, most that of the That actor is English. So. Yeah, no, so I, I didn't doubt that no, he I was actually wondering if that was a lazy director. But choice. why does it come into... Why? Yeah. Like, you, you gotta, maybe maybe it doesn't... Uh, they like. Yeah, maybe they don't need him to be American. It's just like, it works. We'll just use it whether it makes real sense or not. Mm-hmm. It doesn't seem like traveling is something that happens in this world. That's a good point. Mm-hmm. 
So that's why I'm like, where did he come from? Mm-hmm. Where did Basically, he go? if you're in your own, if you're in your own time zone, you pretty much you live, live and die and there. Die right? There. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't like make sense the Hunger to me. Games. Yeah. yeah. And, and this has been going on long enough where he's. Well, I don't. We don't know how old he is. It's hard to tell who's how old everybody Doesn't is. Doesn't he say at one point in time? I think maybe. I thought he said it was like fifty or sixty. Maybe, and like uh, we don't know how long the system's been going on. Uh, it feels like a long time. Yeah, because the opening narration is basically, I don't know when it started. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But let's just say everybody's born with it. In Justin Timberlake's. Yeah, yeah, best that was my serious voice. Like, that uh, like, audience, voice. I know you'll have questions, but I don't have your answers. Just, just <laughs> yeah. Don't ask me, please. But don't ask. I think that's the thing. It's almost like I feel like I mean we can pursue this line of questioning into this movie, but we are just going to be banging our heads against like, well, how come this, what this is this is impossible? Isn't that what we always do, Colin? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but this one's really got to have a problem I because I guess what are we trying to do if we're creating this world that is a complete. You know, fabricate. It says it's a few future, but it's just that was a drink. That was a drink. drink. Thank you. Now we can't use that one again. I'm sure we will. All right, but I mean, you're setting this. You're setting up this environment, this world in which these people live, and you're setting it up by kind of dodgy rules, where it's basically like, don't pay attention to all that stuff that's going out there. Don't ask whatever. There's something you know. Whatever happened to the world happened to make it this way. Boom. That's that's it. Like ground level going. Mm So if you're creating that, then you have to be, the story itself has to be like representing something, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I Ideally, guess, yes. All right. Well, I mean, like it kind of has, like, what is this, uh, like fantasy? The idea that someone from another social class mm-hmm. kind of hates their own class mm-hmm. and says, I'm going to cross over into... The lower class, and then gift them with, you know, this. It's Robin Hood. Yeah, it's Robin Hood. Well, it becomes. I think it becomes Robin Hood. In the third act, it especially does. Yeah. 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 But in the beginning, I think, like, I don't know what the next closest analogy to this is. It's like somebody from, I mean, it could be an alien. Alien comes down and gives you some kind of technology that you didn't have. And then what are you going to do with it? How responsible are you going to be? As a character in, you know, now that you have this amazing gift. Mm-hmm. Do you like that Matt Bomer says, don't waste my time. And literally all he does is waste his time. Mm-hmm. He, I don't understand his character at all. He is the worst. He is a <laughs> terrible person. That's the conclusion I've come to. And like the couple of times I've watched this movie is he's terrible because he gets that time. He buys a suite in a hotel. He buys a lot of expensive food, which, like, I that's fine. But then he goes oh, and Matt gambles Bomer it. Or, uh, no, oh, Justin, no, Justin Timberlake. Timberlake. Oh, okay, as okay, soon sorry. As, as soon as he gives Matt Bomer says, don't waste my time, his dying yeah. fucking words, mm-hmm. what does he do? Fucking waste his time. Well, I understand the character because if you were poor your entire life, mm-hmm. for he's, like, 28 at this point, mm-hmm. Justin Timberlake is, and you were just suddenly gifted millions of dollars. Yeah, like, what's like, the, the first thing you do is, yeah, I, whether experience. somebody tells you not to yeah. waste their time or not, yeah. is to just have... Have it's just the experiences, the things. It's like exactly. eating. It's I've like, never had candy in my life, but all of a sudden you're like, it's like Willy Wonka at this point. It's no different. Mm-hmm. Yes, I'm just going to eat all the candy until no I'm full than and someone, disgusting. Than someone winning the lottery. Yeah, right. Same kind and of true, then but you blow it all and then figure it out what you want to do. After that. But his mom just literally died in his arms from not having enough time. And he's uh, he gets yeah. over that. The next scene does not give there a There is fuck. no clear focus as to. I'm just saying Justin your mom Timberlake's just died in your arms. You have a objective. shit ton of money and you still go blow it all on yourself. What? Oh, was, I was losing you there for a second. I wasn't talking. I, when you were. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, that scene... We should is, talk about that scene. That yeah. scene is basically there, I think, to switch the Justin Timberlake character over from, uh, you know, like, hey, I've got all this money and I can screw around with it or do whatever I want, to the man on a mission. I think you actually said it while we were watching the movie. It was like, because in the very next scene, he's like, but you that's know... That's not how it goes, though, because he switches over to man on a mission, takes spends the one year to get to the... Greenwich, and then he blows all his money on gambling and food, so it doesn't make any sense. Well, he wasn't blowing his money on gambling. He knew he would win, and that's how he'd get more time at gambling. He knew what he was doing. But this like, is all it part still of his seems master so plan dumb. To take down the, uh, the. It seems like he has that master plan, but then he kind of just wa- uh, like wanders around a little bit, like because he's figuring out the the kind of the area where he's 
you know, in what, New Greenwich, I think they mm-hmm, call it, yeah. mm-hmm. where he doesn't know the area, and so he's just kind of experiencing it off the bat. But it does feel like he had an objective when he was, like, all serious. <laughs> Justin Timberlake got in the car. Yeah. Right, and then he's as just like... As soon as like, he got out of the car, oh, it was gone. I'm gonna go mm-hmm. be at the hotel for a well, little bit. Well, he has to acclimate himself to the world and get it as... Uh, mm-hmm. They, he asks how much a standard room is, and they tell him, and he says, give me a suite. So, like, he immediately upgrades from, like, how much he knows the, like, lowest cost. Yeah. Maybe that's a social so, thing. I'm like, guess- he'll see people... Sp- he'll, he's people se- will see him spending he's that He's setting money. up his own image yeah. kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. It just seems like a weird character progression from, like, your mom is dying in your arms, like, yeah. hours I'm, ago. I'm and guessing now their standard hotel rooms are pretty nice. You know? Yeah, but he, that's what I'm saying. He yeah, yeah. upgrades yeah, from that, really so that's what I'm suite. saying. Yeah, probably pretty nice. Well, he's then wanted for the supposed murder or something. They think that he stole the time from the dead yeah. man. The camera yeah. captured everything but the... Yeah. Which uh, makes we don't know how he got in the river. That. It's on fucking... Okay, what? <laughs> makes no go sense. Past it. Fuck that. That makes me so angry. Yeah. <laughs> we got everything but yeah. him jumping off the bridge. So and they know. literally, they show us part of the footage and you literally see JT like running away from the bridge. And then I was like, wait, so the camera shorted out at the exact uh-huh. moment yeah. Matt yep. Bomer yeah. killed himself. Like, yeah. Convenient. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. So it becomes a chase film. Film, kind of the start to your clock. Mm-hmm. Ah, drink, okay. drink. <laughs> we should talk about how Olivia Wilde died because it's pretty pertinent to this movie. Um, so Olivia Wilde has like an hour and a half on her clock after she pays At, her loan yep. off because the Cause whole they live hand they to a, mouth. Yeah. They do, and they made a plan. This is like they've gotten enough time to pay off a loan. Mm-hmm. And he tra- he clearly like it's that classic like single mom like the son is like giving her money to pay the bills all the time situation Mm -hmm. um which is set up in like the opening scene that like he's constantly giving her money to pay off the bills and the loans and then you know she tries to get on the bus to take the to take the bus to meet him and the bus price has doubled from one hour to two hours and she has an hour and a half so she can't pay it bus driver basically says fucking take a hike lady you Mm -hmm. better run so she starts running and he is waiting at the bus stop to meet her and she doesn't show up and then he realizes fuck she couldn't afford it so they start running towards each other and as soon as like they get within arm's reach of each other her time runs out and she dies in his arms oh god it's heartbreaking Mm -hmm. pretty pretty tragic yeah, tragedy sets him on his mission. They killed my ma. He doesn't actually say that, but he's it feeling like, it. It would have been better if he's like, they kill my ma. Nothing. <laughs> so he goes off to District Two his or whatever. His sexy mother died. Now he's going to go <laughs> yep. avenge her. His sexy and he's he's going to take them all down. I think in the next scene he states to he the taxi driver, basically, like, yeah. I'm, I'm going to make gonna, him pay. Yeah. I'm going to make him pay. You probably shouldn't say those things out loud. You know, right? like, no. especially to someone that like has no allegiance to you. That is a fucking you. taxi cab confession but right he there. Seen, <laughs> he sees the taxi cab driver somehow on the same social strata as him. So he's able to talk to this guy because he can confide in him because he's working close. He shouldn't really think that, though, because the Not cab society. The, yeah. Yeah. the driver even was like, I don't usually come out this far uh-huh. to pick people he's up. He's working class yeah. in New Greenwich or whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, which is still above every other, you know, time yeah. zone. Yeah, they don't even have taxi cabs in uh, Dingleberry. No, everybody, everybody walks everywhere. The ghetto. Dirigidu? Uh, the ghetto. Uh, time's uh, didgeridoo? Didgeridoo? Uh, didgeridoo? That's At what an, point, how much time, how much time do you get before you just walk away and live your life? Because if, you know, you see a lot of characters in this movie who have like centuries on their fucking arms like do you wouldn't do you walk away at any point i guess it's asking like how much money is it do you get before you just like don't do shit anymore i well i kind of felt like that was the whole point of new greenwich just like the rich people don't work they don't do anything they just yeah. like dick around all day yeah um I'm, you see that i mean i guess i'm just going with like vincent carthizer's character because he's still doing like it's still technically business even though he's got like a million years stocked away mm-hmm. <laughs> that what? fucking vault with a okay. tiny fucking thing in it <laughs> still makes me angry we, but, um, i'm sorry sean can we, can we talk about how much of a cheap ass he is in this movie I mean, he's very he talks cheap. about how he gives um Amanda Seyfried for her birthday he gave her a decade but That's like his we, daughter this is his daughter uh-huh. but we see on his watch he has like just on his own person has like what over a, a thousand, thousand it's years like a thousand years yeah, yeah. yeah. just on his person yeah, not including when he has in the bank. vault yeah, yeah. And he gives her a fucking decade for her birthday. What a cheap ass. Yeah. 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 She yeah. says it's like it's a big deal. We're sitting there going like, wait a second. That's pretty fucking cheap yeah. to give well, your daughter to. But it's so he can keep her. He says exactly. later on, like, yeah. you know. Exactly. Because yeah. she's because every time they show her arm, she basically always has like 10, 10 years mm. suggesting that she's got a fucking allowance. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. This is what he keeps her at. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He keeps her at 10 years so she can't go very far mm-hmm. and he can protect her from the. 
horrible outside world beyond But it Greenwich. seems like their New Greenwich is very, like, isolated, so, like, what is there to protect her from? Like, oh, I think Well, they don't was, even go uh, swimming. They're afraid to... She's yeah. afraid to, they have the ocean Because right. it's only random acts of violence that will kill them at this point where they live. Glad you brought that up, because I have a huge fucking question about this movie. Uh, for, like, the first two acts, it seems like the only thing that will kill you is your time running out, but then the third act, it seems like anything can kill you in addition to your time running out. Mm. Like, it seems like in the third act, they introduce, oh, gunshots and other things can I kill feel, you, too. I feel like the, it's just that wasn't the focus. I don't think they ever make it sound like you can't die by anything mm, else. Sure. They just don't put the, po- put the focus on anything but your time. It's, it's more the problem in, like, the ghetto, which is where we spend our time at the beginning of the movie. Uh, the cause of death most likely is we just don't see anyone die from anything else we only see people die from their time running out I think those things go um, go down until the 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 mob yeah. uh, factor the comes in and we see them and you know they have Bec- guns yeah and they're shooting because people. even then like people aren't going to just kill you at random because if they shoot you They've literally just wasted all They've that wasted time. They've wasted all the time, right. They could have yeah. taken that, you yeah. know? Yeah. Oh, don't we see that happen to one person? Don't we yeah. see shoot one him in the back. die with a lot of time? They yeah. shoot him in the right? back yeah. and he still had like four days or something mm-hmm. like yeah. that, yeah. And, and doesn't Killian Murphy make a comment like, all that wasted time? I think I would take a, a mob, drink. The mob guy, I think. Like, <laughs> yep, all right. Yep, very good. I, well, another another thing that I don't really get about this movie is um, just looking at what you were saying about Justin Timberlake spending all his, all of his time that he has on these things that maybe he shouldn't be. The way the the way the cost of living fluctuates so much, I don't know how anyone can actually accurately budget anything in this. Movie. Right. I think that's the point. Yeah. Well, that, well, they because say I'm that. like, yeah, well, he's got a hundred yeah. years, but it kind of seems like that's going to go quick. Yeah. Like yeah. it doesn't well, seem get, like but, he's going to have this like everlasting life. But I feel like I think I think this movie doesn't communicate this very well. But I think. Like the time we see on their wrist for the rich people is only what they're willing to carry with them. Right. I think well, yeah. a lot of times with the rich people, we have to assume they have a lot in the vault. It's literally like uh, a wallet the, on their own. Yeah, it's they, a wallet. In, yeah, yeah. In I got gotcha. Capsules. Isn't they talk yeah. about that having time in but capsules? Yeah, they, yeah. they do yeah. not explain that. This is well. yeah. this, this is the stuff that uh, the guys in the ghetto manufacture these things, yes, right? Because they they're them, the workers. Yeah. The they work in the steel. Mm-hmm. steel yeah, they're like they're like prisoners making license plates, man. Yeah, that's what it's like. Which seems to be the only thing that we see anybody making. All the people in the town kind of file into the you know with the the barcode yeah. or whatever mm-hmm. they're getting the laser scan of their arm mm-hmm. it's very metropolis like yeah, you know, yeah. yeah it very the workers going in mm-hmm. and then when you get to uh new greenwich then it's the you know royalty everybody is in tuxedos and you know mm-hmm. swanky parties and all that stuff and timberlake meets uh seafried mm-hmm. the guy's daughter and they have a connection because she wants to be wild, but doesn't know how wild she wants to be. And this leads to... <clears throat> He's on the wrong side of the tracks. Right, yeah. which is uh, attractive to her. And mm-hmm. so they have a little... Uh, Trist? Water mm-hmm. sports. Little little, little oh, fun in the water. They, they skinny dip and hover around each other in the ocean. And, it and is PG-13. It's... I okay. And I, then he abducts for, her. Yeah. And, but at gunpoint yeah. when the timekeepers. Because he's up. still being pursued by the timekeepers. Yeah. yeah. And then this allows us to have a new wrinkle to the story where we have the person from the haves who gets to hang out and see that it's actually better to live as a have not because. It's just insane how many times it's like how she describes like what you people live day to day. This is insane because her time gets stolen at some point. Mm-hmm. It's like a game to her, which is well until not, that point. Until you know, she loses yeah, her yeah. Time. Like, like, yeah, it's a game to the rich people until yeah. they lose their money. Yeah, it's like most dangerous game. You know, it's that it's kind like of thing. It's yeah. like Rose in Titanic this is what rich people going do for down fun. below decks and finding out ah. that like hanging out down there is mm-hmm. a lot more fulfilling. They're than living food. down there yeah. above decks. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. They're, They're living. Those that Irish dirty party poor people. Fun. Yeah. <laughs> I, I were did drinking and smoking. Yeah. I did appreciate, like Sean, you were talking about the visual jokes in the early half of this movie, like the the ninety nine second store. That the, the, was really yeah, funny. I enjoyed that joke. The ninety nine um, second store. That one was of funny. It's visual- an LA joke for people who don't <laughs> who don't know. One of the visual, like, or kind of, you know, time related things I really liked was when he first goes to New Greenwich when he talks about how. Like when he's eating really fast, like mm-hmm. he's like inhaling his food, and they're like, "You need to knock that shit off." Everyone yeah. can tell you're you don't, poor. Yeah, you don't see me because you're, you're eating you're doing so fast. A too fast. Mm-hmm. Because if you think about it, like she, like Olivia Wilde talks about in the first half of the movie, let me give you thirty minutes so you can have a decent lunch. Mm-hmm. Like 
that means two things. It means taking the time off work, but it also means paying for your lunch. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just thought it was cool to see like this, like a poor person trying to fit into high society and it going horribly wrong. Mm-hmm. I often wonder what it's like to be a very wealthy person watching movies like this. Where <laughs> right? We will never a, know. A they don't. Oh, we won't know. But we B, they imagine. don't get it. Do, are you, they probably think it's just terrible, right? Like I assume they think it's bad. Well, Come on, look at the world right now. They don't understand. They don't get it. Mm, I wonder. Uh, ah. this is, so this is uh, these movies are meant for them to see the error of their ways. Is what it is? I, I mean, doubt they will. <laughs> no, it's meant for yeah. us. No, it's meant for us <laughs> to hate the rich people. More. Right? Yeah. It's like a fantasy for us to be like, yeah, fucking take them down. You well, that's, know? What like, ho- that's what yeah. they're betting yeah. on. That's what yeah. they're hoping for to yeah. uh, for us to be like, yeah, Justin Timberlake, like, get him. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Wait, why are you doing this for the next half hour? Yeah. Just go get him. It's always just to me the irony that the super rich are the people who make this entertainment for us to watch. That's, that's a good point. <laughs> right, because well, that they're feeding into it. Colin's like, yeah, watch this. Maybe you'll, you'll feel good about yourself and then you can go back to work and mm. do all the shit while you support us for the rest of our lives. There you go. So I'm half joking in that whole description. <laughs> well, this chase, uh, you know, eventually leads back to the uh, to the ghetto where the timekeeper follows back. There's a bunch of like, give me money for your daughter. And basically at this point, uh, Timberlake and Seafried become kind of a Bonnie and Clyde duo. Of course, mm-hmm. she falls in love with her captor because she was attracted to him before, I suppose. And this leads to them saying, hey, we can actually steal time from those who have it and disperse it to the uh, those who don't. And mm-hmm. this is going to somehow destroy the time economy and bring down the entire system. Well, yeah, because if you give all the people in the ghetto their living day-to-day like enough time to not have to go to their jobs, they're going to quit going to their jobs. That's the thought, which, like, yeah. I mean, that's how the movie ends, basically, you know, like... If they said the factories are abandoned. Yeah. Is this movie a cautionary tale for just all digital currency? Ooh, Bitcoin. looking at you, bit ter- Bitcoin. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. I mean, it can be looked at it that way yeah. if we just went to an all digital currency Holy and shit, got rid of physical kind of stuff. Right <laughs> I mean, it can be. Like, look what look what the possibilities that you can do if I we mean, just went to yeah. that. No, I obviously I, I don't agree with with what uh, Vincent Carthesa was saying about you know people can live forever. So isn't that worth like the few lives that it takes? But he did also talk about how it would crumble the economy. I feel like the, they're all just fucked now, you know, like, yeah, their lives sucked before, but now they're really fucked. Like they still only have that certain amount of time and they're going to die. Now all of a sudden no one's going to work. But nobody's thinking no that getting, far ahead. I know the what I'm idea, saying. Like, but the idea that the movie is going after, I think, is the object of fairness. It is unfair mm. that these rich people get to have all this stuff and we don't. And so the idea being we're gonna give everybody basically equally distribute the time no, I, so not everybody will I have get it. get that. Right. But they're all gonna you're but right. They are gonna run, But yeah. the movie sure. doesn't think yeah. that far ahead. Right. Its goal is like, look, we've made it so everybody has the exact same yeah. amount of time and it's a utopia. And they're gonna have I a mean, great they're gonna like have a great couple weeks. Borders and then have like, broken oh, down shit. and everybody I don't even think it goes that does it go that far to to say that everyone gets the equal amount of time? Well, well there's still the rich people. Yeah. Well he still but they're and they're working from but they're working from zone to zone. Sure. So the idea being that as they're off on their kind of Robin Hood, Bonnie and Clyde crusade, they are. This is the goal that they're eventually going to. If you continue sure. with the adventures of uh, Will Sasso, no, sorry, what was his name? Salas. Will Salas. They have watched Will Sasso, me. Will Sasso is Will a pretty Sasso, good he's comedian. He's from that's, that's, Sarah yeah. Live. Yes. No, was it Mad TV? Or no, Mad TV. Yeah. Yeah. He can yeah. spit yeah. up a good lemon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Again, yeah. Um, <laughs> the best vine ever. <laughs> best vine really artist is. ever. Will I would Sasso. say so. Yeah. Uh, Will Salas. They were all named after like watchmakers because, of course, they were. <laughs> oh you Jesus! So, no, drink for that one. Yeah, that's what we're dealing with in this movie. Hmm. But I think that I. I Who are you? No, uh, I, I'm Johnny Rolex. Nice to meet you. Like, <laughs> I wish that would have been JT's name in this movie. That would have been great. Uh, but to your, I, I think to your point, Colin, that like, I think when you're in like the lower districts and you've been like, like they set up very early on in this movie that the people working in these factories only make enough to come back to work for the next day and mm-hmm. that's it. So I think when that's been your life for so long, you don't give a fuck if society's going to crumble because right. you're like, yeah. I've had to work like you know. You know, day to day, my entire yeah. ever since I turned twenty five. So yeah. mm-hmm. 
You don't sleep in much in that district. <laughs> that no, was, no yeah. one sleeps ever, right? Like, why would yeah, you waste time be, sleeping? Like yeah. in this in this Always world, working or somehow either stealing time from people, which is extremely easy to do in this movie. Got to hold hands, yeah. sh- shake hands with them. That's it. Just it depends on what does it depend on the way you turn the thing. If you're that's on top, you're getting time. Well, yeah. If you're below, you're taking time. Again, I'm unclear on this technology because sometimes situation. Yeah, it yep. seems are like you a top, um, are you a bottom, are you a giver, are you a taker? You, you guys, <laughs> it's the a, whole it's world. An over, let's be real. This is a futuristic <laughs> over the top sequel. Uh, Mikhail is not wrong there because we do get we find out this is like set up through the entire movie the idea that Will Salas's dad uh, is known to Kelly Murphy like I knew your dad fifty years ago like oh he's future shit. Stallone and he was a fighter and we're like well is he a boxer or something no 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 that's not how they fight yeah he, 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 uh, he wrist wrestled if you can even call that <laughs> this is like a much lamer over the top. Where uh, definitely, a, definitely a, lot, a definitely much lighter and much less top. sweatier, no and sweat, less in this muscle, movie. muscles involved. Yeah. Where you basically grab the other person's forearm, and this is how you transfer time. I don't know how right. this works Come here, Colin. because well, I don't have well, any time. Well, no, but, uh, we're like, demonstrating no, fight, it for the TV right audience. Like, which, it's a, oh, Sean and oh, oh, they're, they're, they're in time arm wrestling. No, you're cheating. You're turning. So, it's basically chicken, right? It's just chicken. You just hope the other person's time will run out. Sorry, okay, there is muscle involved. Uh, <laughs> Colin's a big man. I just want everyone so, to know that. The but the idea being that uh, at some point it seems like if I want to give you all but five minutes, mm-hmm. I can do that. Yeah. By telepathy or somehow sure. I don't know how right. that works. I think you have to decide. Like it feels like there's a connection between like all right, I'm going to give you a half hour. But that doesn't. And that's work all it goes. If you walk up to somebody who's sleeping and, and just, just go. Bleh, 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 take that but again we're back in that technology thing yeah. like as long as we i think it has to do with how long you hold on to i think you hold on until you see the timer go down at a certain point and you let go i was thinking that so i was mm. watching for it and that wasn't it they Damn actually it. did go because i was like <laughs> you, you gotta do yeah. the like then, yeah. no but no it actually yeah actually counted it, down and stopped it feels the, like it's connected to the brain we're just like all right half hour and you, it yeah. will automatically stop because you decided on a half yeah. hour yeah because that would be like a pretty good fail safe against somebody stealing your shit right you would think. Okay. But, I mean, not really, because they stole Amanda Seyfried's time. Why well, does they do in the movie saying, yeah. because yeah. it doesn't follow any kind of uh, decent, uh, you know, like... There's no, stru- there's no rule structure. I, we say we can't, while watching this movie, we say we can't think too hard about the rules of this. But it also, like, if there is no, like dead set rules or at least some I'm not saying I need everything explained to me but if there's not some sort of structure to the rules of this it's hard to know what the stakes are for these people Mm -hmm. I need some rules as to what you can do and can't do this movie doesn't really want to give us those things or hasn't thought of them or doesn't think they're important so that's just something for the plot to move along so at this point this guy can steal this other guy's time right it's what's convenient at the time it's just like well now he's going to steal the time no time like the present oh Oh, shit Oh shit! Uh, can I just? What here's the Can thing I refuse to drink if your pun's bad? If, how is any of them better than that? Yeah, that was solid. It, it, uh. If it's as easy as just like shaking hands with someone, why is not everyone not sleeping with their arm in a cast or something? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You know, yeah. like why is there not yeah. some sort of mechanism to protect your? You right. Know, like somebody who should have like the a cool. The rich thing. people should have it if nothing else. Yeah. Like, if nothing else, no. Like the people in the ghetto should have like come invented something that's like, and there should have been a scene. Some like, like, like right. steampunk yeah. piece of gear. Yeah. Oh my god! If you, wear you don't this up trust your wrist. anybody, yeah. right? Yeah, that's what that would have been cool. Someone figured out a way finally, but only in like the ghetto because you know the, the smart people live there. Mm-hmm. Then they figured out a way to block the transmission mm-hmm. of time and everything. Mm-hmm. Something like that would have been a cool element to this movie. Mm-hmm. Like, it, it, well, even toward yeah. the end, they drive a uh, armored truck th- into a bank, a time vault, whatever the hell it is, and I mean it's lethally easy to get the time cartridges and hand the them out. The bank is all everybody. glass walls. Yeah. What so the fuck? There is that kind of like, well, how come no one has been doing this? I mean, if it's a matter of life and death, which I, I guess is what they're trying to say. People can't get to the banks because they live day to day and they literally only have enough time to go to work the next day. I think the poor people I mean, do not have the time. Don't have the time. Take a drink, guys. Um, oh, I don't know if I agree with that. How one. can I work a wrinkle in time into this? I, I can't do it. I was going to do it. I was going <laughs> to um, no, yeah. say it earlier because well, you said a wrinkle and I was yeah. waiting for it. They don't get old, so there are no wrinkles in this time. 
No, uh, no, 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 I'm not doing that one. Oh, come on. That was a good one. They don't get old. <laughs> but like, they don't. This not supposed to be. It's just smart. They don't get old, so there's no wrinkles in the. T- mm. God, no, they, screw you guys. They laid out very clearly that it takes one year's time just to get to the to um, New Greenwich. Yeah, it costs so them. Yeah, it costs that much just to get there. Costs so that time zone. You know, we there might not be any banks in the lower districts because there was like the the loans and the pawn shops, and that's all we really and like the Western Union equivalents, basically. Mm-hmm. But like that's all we really and saw. there's like a soup kitchen, a soup kitchen, yeah, yeah, yeah. that people literally line up it's like a time kitchen, yeah, every day, yeah. yeah. So I mean, if you have to go to one of the more exclusive districts to even get to a bank, was that where the bank was? It was in, in a more. I, I believe so. Okay, that would make sense because I like thought it. it was like in there. Uh, you know, they weren't really clear. The I think, yeah, I think, yeah. She, I think she's right. Yeah, that was a, really that was a cut it. to. Oh, they're driving to a bank now. Yeah, right. mm-hmm. where they missed the line that you thought that they should have there. <laughs> oh my god! <gosh, laughs> huge missed opportunity. That w- uh, oh, take yeah. all the time you need. Take, yeah, yeah, take yeah. All the time you need. That would have been so perfect. If you're gonna go for it, go for it. They, they break it, Do they it. drive into a bank vault with like a Brinks truck, right? Yeah. They drive into it, they're like handing out the like transponders, whatever, to transfer the time. And JT says, take months, take years. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah. It's the rule of threes, yeah. people. Yeah. Not even, like, because she gave her a little, like, Weiss Bank is giving out time to, like, don't say anything else. Just walk in, take your stuff, look at everyone, say, take all the time you need and walk and out. And if you're yeah. not going to go it. that, if you're not going to go the ra- that That's route, classy. if you, yeah. you want to do the really wordy kind of like really long run joke, make it like a timeshare pitch, you know? Yeah. The, well, that was that one of the background kind of joke. jokes. Yeah. Timeshares. Timeshares was pretty yeah. funny. But that was pretty good. Yeah. God, what the fuck? They <laughs> went for every other time pun leading up into so that. So what are you doing? Much cooler. I mean, come on. Yeah. Just do it. You're not going to get many times to make a movie that is. <laughs> you won't have this time much to make opportunity. A movie like oh, you won't get get a time. All right, oh, damn it! I know you're working on something there. It didn't quite. I'll take it. Didn't quite land. <laughs> um. <clears throat> all right. So uh, uh, this. Uh, yeah. So where where do we? I don't know. They're robbing uh, they're banks. Robbing they're the Bonnie bank. and Clyde at this point. They basically, because that's basically, basically how the movie ends. Like. Yeah, she's like, you know, this is uh, something that I want to do. It's finally given my life meaning, and I can screw over my dad, who has basically only given me like 10 hours of time at a yeah, or 10 and, he, day, and he 10 wouldn't 10 give 10 up 10 anything, days, anything to save her. Yeah. 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 Because oh, yeah, he didn't. Yeah, he wouldn't pay is, the ransom yep, at all. He so, this the is the idea. They set him up like he is somehow the guy who's in charge of time. Kind of. Or at least has a lot of. Vincent pull. Carthizer? Yeah. Yeah. And he's just a he's rich just guy. really rich. But he's, not he in charge, also, he's just really rich. Well, he's, he has a lot of time. He manages the time exchange. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, the the, the soup yeah. kitchen place. He manages that, right? Because remember, all those well, people the, are. But the board. It's like he's, yeah. it's like he's like, watching the stock exchange from his office. Yeah. Yeah. They're Weiss banks. That's oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, 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 right, he, right. he owns all the banks. Very true. Yeah. So it's like a J.P. Morgan situation, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He's gotcha. a dirty bastard. Yeah, yeah eventually he, is. he figures that time is more important than his daughter. Yeah. Well, of course. That's and that's what breaks the daughter out of her kind of cycle that she's been living in for the past whatever. First, it's Justin Timberlake stealing her, and then her realization that her father's a you know piece of shit who wouldn't give wouldn't give her the time of day. Oh, there you oh, go. All right. There you go. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank there you. I want. I want. I want. I want a little bit of something for that. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Thank that was you. A good one. So the uh, the timekeeper, the Killian Murphy character. I mean, toward the end of this, did you think that he was? I mean, his character has no room to grow, really, because I thought and gets that, an unfair end as far as I'm concerned. Well, because the movie sets up basically three villains, right? You've got your king villain, which is the her father, mm-hmm. uh-huh. right? Then you have uh, Killian Murphy, who's the cop who's running around trying to chase him, kind of like Tommy Lee Jones and The Fugitive. Yeah. I kind of figured we were going that way. Yeah. But the character arc. You can't think of better movies when you're watching so, this one. Could, well, could, we, could we call him Timmy Lee Jones? Uh, I'm not drinking <laughs> okay. that. No, I'm not drinking that. No. One. no. Come on. And no. Something. <laughs> so, but uh, at some point, uh, he gets shot and uh, JT gifts him some time to keep him alive. Right, he yeah. could just let this right. guy who's chasing him die, yeah. but he gives him some time. And I'm like, this is going to be like the moment we're setting it up, like some type of character arc change here for yeah. this character. I wish they're trying. 
Or the, the, the something. The seeds are planted. Seeds are planted. We'll come back to that. The other character, the other villain, is the mm-hmm. cartoon villain. The uh, the 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 street level hood. Uh, okay. Yeah. But the so the Alex Pettifer. Right. Yeah. But the Killian Murphy Beastly. character like chases Duder down, and like they get to that climactic moment where it's like you know hero versus villain. Except that Killian Murphy is like out of time. <laughs> But he's not. But before because, that, his... because he fucks himself over, it's his own fault. Yeah, because he's like the. They make it clear the timekeepers don't get paid very much. They they get a per diem, and that is like enough to like support their shift, and then a little bit more to come in the next day. So it's very similar to the manufa- like the manufacturing people in the mm-hmm. lower time zones. Like Except they they have no. It's never going to really run out as long as they're employed. They'll keep. Uh, yeah, they'll be fine diem. because yeah. Killian Murphy says several times, "I've given fifty years of my life to this force." He's 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 the old grizzled you know police officer but that seems kind to be of his role. only motivation for not switching sides yeah it's because he's because he said it's not going to be it doesn't even say at one point i've given 50 years i'm not going to let it all go to waste that is like his that, right? mo- yeah that yeah. is his final like yeah. yeah because i keep time i'm the guy i've been doing this forever and i'm an old dog and you can't te- teach me new tricks and mm-hmm. i don't see the value in you giving time away mm-hmm. You know, this is my yeah. job, so I am he's going just a to come to you. But that just ends up meaning nothing. Yeah. It means nothing. It ends at up the meaning end. nothing because he's an nothing. idiot. Because he's calling in his per diem and says, "Wait, no, no, no," and like makes a U turn to follow them, and that's what ends up killing him. Mm-hmm. It's stupid. Yeah, he literally could have just done it while he was driving. Exactly. Yeah. Do it's, you think that this is kind of like a demolition man scenario age. where like there hasn't been a crime this exciting in this guy's life in forever that that's why he uh, ends it's, up dying at his own like you know oversight of hey I, I think so I think this time. is like what gives him like his life meaning. You know, it's like chasing people down. So he's always down. doing this. Yeah. I think that, like, this, so. Is, so this is what is he a colossal oversight on his part. A fatal mistake. I think I he know, lives of, for this shit. Like, I, I think he would, too, I think, but I think I, I agree where this is a, an extenuating circumstance that this doesn't happen. Something this big doesn't happen this often. Yeah. And so he's distracted by it. Um, which I, I, well, I have to think, if he's been doing this for 50 years, I think this is a big yeah. event. Which causes him to not pay attention well, as much. Because yeah. if you're living in a world where time is literally your currency and it's if you run out of time, you die. And if he's a guy who's been on a strict uh, a short leash for this long, there's no way he doesn't pay attention to that shit. Oh, my God. He's totally Sandra Bullock in Demolition Man, isn't he? He's just like... Yeah, he's totally just like you're saying. He's been on a short leash, so he's had nothing cool to do. Right? He gets a he gets like a big hit. Like someone in the ghetto has like a century on them. I'm, that's a I'm, big I'm thing gonna for take him. this down. Yeah, mm-hmm. and it, that's why he gets distracted. and That's why he ultimately ends up dying. I don't like the way this character goes out. I wanted more for him. Mm-hmm. I thought we could do better for him, but I mean that's that's where he goes. Let me ask you this technical question: How is Justin Timberlake action hero? Hmm. No. 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 <laughs> I honestly think this movie I honestly think this movie would be a lot better if you cast Were you guys making fun of his role. run later on? He, yeah, he, he, has his run. Run. he has a stupid and he's run. Got a he bad has a bad running run. face. Like, he, well, that and his hands come up to like his eyebrows. He's the, he's it's, the, it's the T-1000 yeah. run. Yeah, yeah it is. It's a bad run. It, it's not good. a stupid fucking run. Can we talk about the pointless moment when they brought up his father? That ends up meaning nothing. Yeah. Nothing. It was so stupid. The only thing I could see that that did to the movie was the moment where he's challenged by the street level thug, and he's like, "I'm going to fight you for your time." And you're like, "Oh shit! This is yeah. just what happened to his father." And he's right. Gonna fig- but um, but to the overarching story, what even the street level guy like, had it impact? I mean, I think you could cut that subplot out of the movie. Well, like that, entirely. that's, that's yeah. the thing. Like, even like he has that short story that he tells Amanda Seyfried how he knows how to. How to do that go over the top? Thing. Go over the top. Thank mm-hmm. you. Basically. But later on, like the when Killian Murphy brings it up, like it makes it makes no sense. There's no reason for it. None. Did they say that Killian Murphy had killed his father? No. No. Did no. They... He just knew he had died. Like he was like, oh, they, you, they you're going to go out just like your father. That, they said. didn't even specify yeah. that because it feels like Justin Timberlake was told one story, but what really yeah, happened to his father was a different story. But they would... didn't. I am that out. He, he was, was like, also, he was like, my father died in a fight, and he's like, no. He, he thought his father was a bad guy. Yeah, and he's like, no, trying that's to take not, somebody else's thing. He's but like, that's not what happened. Somebody, yeah, yeah. And Killian Murphy said that's not what happened, but then we never got yeah. the real story out of exactly. all that. It never thing. goes anywhere. It's so stupid. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Never really goes anywhere. Mm-hmm. Possibly That's deleted kinda... scenes, but it, I mean, uh, it feels that way that maybe there's an a hour and 42 minutes. What did they delete from this movie? There's a lot of fat they could trim in other places to make this movie make more sense. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because like I said, you have three bad guys. I don't think you need three. You don't need need all the lifestyle porn either. You know what I'm saying? Like, Like, I feel like the first 20 minutes of this movie is really interesting. And then after that, it just like... Drops off so hard. Like as soon as Olivia Wilde dies, it is it is taking she a nose dive very two quickly. Scenes. Yeah, she's a scene in the apartment. Mm-hmm. And the scene where she's running. Yep, that's it. Yeah. That's it for her. Yeah. I thought she was a bigger star at that point in time, but maybe not. No, she, maybe she's not a big you know, star. When they, Cowboys she? and Aliens was right around when the same they, time, right? I remember when. How this, was she in House? Was she still in House at this point? And maybe uh, she was under know. contract. But I, rem- I remember when this came out. Like she was definitely like she was high she was, build. She was I high thought. build. Yeah. Well, yeah. She's always been high up on my. I love her. She yeah, she has like great. this career. Like, did she start on House, and then people were like, "Whoa, whoa, 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 whoa! How did she not get into features first? And so uh, then, it was the it was OC. Like, Colin, she has to do, and thank Alpha you very Dawn. much. That's yes. where okay. she started. Okay, I'll always remember her from Tron Legacy. No, yeah, okay. mm-hmm. yep. but the OC as the lesbian girlfriend. I like, Alex, her, in, I'm pretty I like sure. her in Drinking Buddies. In drink, oh, yeah, Drinking yeah, Buddies is movie. really good. Yeah. Yeah. I love that movie. I like Drinking Buddies. Uh, also on the technical end, uh, top build uh, Roger Deakins, photographer. What yeah. do you think of his work in this film? I did not notice that really, Roger Deakins. Are you? How could you not? Well, I didn't notice. The, look, I didn't notice not? the credit. I because it's a different. Uh, it's his first movie shot on digital. Oh. Ever. See, but you, you were looking for You it. do not think this shot with Matt Bomer and JT sitting in those chairs with the yellow lights behind them look exactly like fucking Blade Runner? Blade Runner. Yeah, that's yeah, a they fucking did. That Blade looks Runner exactly shot. Like Blade that's Runner. very they much were, Blade yeah. Runner. The f- I'll tell you, the first time I saw <laughs> wow. this, like when you said Roger Deakins shot this, and I'm yeah. thinking back to the first time I saw it, I'm like, really? Mm-hmm. And this time, of course, you, you go in it. watching it, it's like... There's some very nice compositions in it's this movie. It's beautiful. Yeah. There are scenes in this movie that are better than this movie deserves. Like, yeah. it is beautiful. Some but of these scenes the, are beautiful. But the production design is not working counter to what Deacons is doing. But, but it bland. does kind of... It, yeah, it gives the movie a sense. I think it's just you come away with the sense that it's kind of blandish. Right. Mm-hmm. Even though if you were to stop it at any given time and pause and just look at the frame, like, it's oh, like, that's ah. actually like... Look at they got the little lights along the side of the road that's yeah. lighting the road. Or they have like a shot with like smoke in the background and yellow lights. It's and like Roger Deakins on a budget, lights. it feels yeah. like. But <laughs> he's yeah. trying his best, man. He's oh, yeah. doing oh, yeah. his best work. He really is. Like, yeah. this like I don't think the guy those... can do bad work. No, but no I don't think so either. It might have been one of the things where just it. like, this feels like, it may have been, uh, it's just like, this is a smaller budget. This is something like, it's not a huge thing. He could probably do more on a movie like this. Or be in charge of more shit. I don't know. He's pretty yeah. much got free reign of everything. But right. to I don't know. Sometimes I think guys like that like to do the smaller budget stuff because they get to be more involved. Oh yeah, I'm sure and, Andrew and, Nichol was fucking stoked to have. Oh, him. I'm sure yeah, this movie, as yeah. you should be. Yeah, he finally won an Oscar, right? He won. He won he for won fucking for Blade, Blade Runner. Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah. God that bless was him. a piece of work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Blade Runner 2049. Yeah, but I mean, a lot of the the same visual techniques you see in Blade Runner are are in this movie. Well, he was very true. Yeah. Same lighting, yeah. same lighting grids, and, the, and yeah, yeah the he, same kind of silhouetted shots. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, characters true. black in the foreground, just yellow or blue light. Yeah, but it like. Like it, it looks so good. It's almost distracting because this movie, like the plot, isn't enough to keep you involved. So you're more like, "Wow, that looks really good." When you're not even paying attention to what's happening in the scene, or at least for me, that was the experience. I was like, "Man, that looks really nice." Like not even like <laughs> yeah. paying, paying attention to like, what's happening. Yeah. Mm, but until the yeah. angel checked the, out of the until the car goes over the ravine wall and does oh, twenty there, flips and there was yep. a scene Angel's with like, oh. uh, Killian Murphy where he like kind of did like a like a quarter turn around. Uh, the camera where like he was all lit in that yellow light and like you know he's got those really severe cheekbones so like the way the shadow cast when he looked I was like damn let's light him more like that but it was one quick scene and that was it mm. he only got lit nicely once in this whole movie there's a lot of yeah I mean if you're looking at it for the photography there's a lot to admire but still it seems like it's in some ways much ado about nothing but uh, mm-hmm. uh, well, but Roger yeah. Deakins has done so many movies you can watch his beautiful artwork and everything yeah. so you know yeah 
Um, do we have any uh, other observations about this before we go to mailbag and our final wrap ups? Which I know I'm anxious to hear. <laughs> I mean, how do we end? Uh, <laughs> I like that it, tw- in 2169, fedoras are still a signal still of like your fedoras with feathers in it. Yeah, because like That's one mob. one of it. Alex yeah. Pettifer's henchman is like wearing mm-hmm. a fedora, th- start to finish in this movie. He never takes it I off. I hate that guy the most. Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's got a very punchable face because yeah, of the fedora, like right? Guy. Yeah, yeah. I want to yeah. want someone to punch him and that fedora to stay right there and yeah. just fall to the ground. <laughs> That's what I want. Him to just vaporize. And Fuck the that guy. Fedora falls to the ground. Yeah. How does this end? Uh, uh, they go in to rob the big bank. Remember? Well, because the they bank. they distribute the, uh, well, how the they time to everybody. Everybody starts marching on. Where they get? I don't know if they actually get to New Greenwich. Yeah, they're on that way. They're going through time zones and like, fuck it, we're going. They start going everywhere. Yep. Mass migration of people. Right. And uh, everybody is living in a utopia, except for the people in the the other time zones. And uh, they're losing their privilege. and Clyde have to go and uh, and help them out, too. I'm curious. Rob the bigger bank. Curious how much you guys thought this movie cost. You want to go around around the horn? Mm, f- Colin, I'm going with forty five million dollars. Sean, that seems to be my safe bet on like mm. everything. I'll say twenty five. <laughs> Holly, but it feels cheap. You got stars in it though. Mm-hmm. I feel twenty. Are they big stars? Twenty five. Are they affordable? Are they twenty five million dollars stars? Holly, you got to think two thousand eleven money too. Yep. So I say thirty five. Hallie, you are our winner. Is forty million dollar movie? What did I say? You said forty five. Price is Right rules closest without going went over. over. You went over. Went over. Oh, over. Okay. Yeah. I got yeah. You. Price is Right yeah. rules. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it made one hundred and seventy five million. This is a hugely profitable. Wow. Movie. Domestic. Yeah. Wow. Because this was peak Buzzard. Justin Timberlake, apparently, and or it, something. And it came out in that dead season. It came out like early October when there's like nothing else to watch. So, you know, it, it made it did pretty well. well. I'll be damned. That's surprising. Yeah. I mean, well, it was on my radar. I never saw it until now, but I was remember like, oh, yeah, in time with mm-hmm. the whole time on there. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, the whole it's thing got that with the time. With the time and the time. time. Yeah, I never found time to go see it. Ooh, oh, yeah. shit. Take a drink. <laughs> You're better. Just do it. <laughs> is it? Okay, so... Timey Lee Jones is a good joke. No, it's not. No, it's not. I know we didn't even really talk Listener, about this. Listeners, tell us if you think Timey Lee Come Jones on, is good. Come on, that's, that's right. good. Well, write to us on... Uh, think about it in context. Write to us about whether or not it's a good joke on Facebook. Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Instagram. Saturday, Saturday Night, Night Freak Show. <laughs> I was like, are you waiting? Um, that's usually look at yourself. <laughs> oh, I need a mirror. So we're going to summon our mailman, Igor. He's going to bring us the mail. We're going to read it right here, right now. Coming up next. Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. So. uh, Thank you, Igor. Oh yeah, thanks, Igor. <laughs> she Jesus. screwed me up with the yeah. Jesus. Thanks, Igor. Oh, oh shit, he's got like five is minutes it left just, on his time. Yeah. Oh like, no, somebody give oh. Igor some time. Is it just because he's lower class, Colin? Is that why you? Wow, about wow. Him? Okay, give that man some time. We need <laughs> him for you. next week. Yeah, listener, please write in to give Igor some time, please. This yeah, is how bad time. I am at comedy. I'm sitting here. There's got to be like a time joke that I can. You work won't even here. give him the time of day. No. There I, I made the time of day joke. We've yeah. done that a couple yeah. times. Wrinkling time, punch his clock. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're going to stop his clock. We're going to C- clean his clock. Clean his clock. The movie. That, was that was pretty good. That was yeah. actually pretty good. Didn't the timekeepers say that too? <laughs> so, so Igor's works. just going to yeah. die. I think yeah, somebody's going to clean their clock. Igor's dead. So, Harrington Chanath. Qua? Chenny Chenethal. I'm oh, sorry, I don't mean to fuck your name up, uh, no, but I'm really bad at reading. And I'm drunk. Yeah, but uh, thank you for writing in. It says, I've been listening to your podcast for about two weeks and I love it. And after listening for a few minutes, I was sucked in by the commentary and the insights provided on what would otherwise be a movie I would never watch. I did just listen to the latest episode, Runaway, and halfway through the cast, I realized this was a movie I saw in the theater when I was five. I don't know why I was taken 
Probably no sitter, but to this day, I distinctly remember Probably. the spider bots and how they freak me out. Thanks for providing this entertainment. I really feel like I'm sitting around listening to like-minded buddies discuss movies. Oh, right, which one, awesome. which one of you wrote okay. this? Honestly, that's, that's, that's high praise because... Yeah, it is. I, okay, when that's I listen so to great. podcasts, I tell my boyfriend this all the time. They're my best friends. They just don't know it. Like, I, I say that about other podcasts I listen to. Sure. I say, that, like, like, I, like... That their podcast I listen to should fear me because of how much I love them. Like they <laughs> right, should be afraid. If you, if you, of if you me. ever met yeah. them in person, you'd be like, "I we're, best I know, we're friends, guys." And they're gonna be like, like "We don't know you." Yeah. Yeah. So you I, should calm I, down. I understand that feeling, and we do consider you a friend for writing in. We do. Oh, yeah. Yes. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, we appreciate Thank you very it. much. Welcome to the family. Yes. 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 Come by anytime. So please about- give us time to keep you over alive. <laughs> <laughs> He's got five minutes left, guys. Yeah, it's like four thirty now. Uh, so about our movie in time. Uh, Steve Coat, nineteen seventy four, writes in and says, "Apparently, this is a great drinking game. Whenever someone says time, hopefully you've been able to finish the podcast. Oh boy, left. I think we were doing it on the. But you can listen to this podcast, follow along, and do any time. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's time, time." Yeah. Time, time, time. Yeah. Do, time, yeah, do time, the, time, do time, the time, game time. with this episode. Write in and tell us about it. If yeah, you do are, a if shot every time yeah. we said yeah. take a drink. Yeah. yeah. And see if you are currently drunk. Uh, Raft Production says to- In Time is a brutal film. Mm. Perfect for your show. When you realize how insensitive Timberlake's character was to his mother, it makes the rest of the film annoying. Yeah. That's what I was saying, man. Like, he got over it really quick. Yeah. He did. There was there was no funeral. There was no he didn't nothing. Even, he he didn't was just speak of her. No. For the rest of the movie. It was like she never existed. It was honestly, it was like he was glad to be rid of that burden. Maybe. No, he's kind of what on like. a revenge mission to purge the entire world because but he never said death. like mm-hmm. and having the time mom. of his life. Like, he did though. He he kind of did. He he said in the limo ride. He said they're gonna pay. Yeah, and that was it. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> that, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah, was true. true. <laughs> but, <laughs> then he got there. He's like, oh shit, this place nice. Like oh, I'm gonna pay because this is the room. Well, then he fell in love. You know, there's a man oh, she freed bat her big giant alien eyes. Let, let's be real though. Like she, eyes. her body probably got thrown in the incinerator that powers the machine say, that makes the time keepers. So like, say, you know, I feel like their like body disposal is probably not like say a funeral. They no, no, it's like it's like soil and green. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, it's Looper. Yeah. yeah, shove them back through a time shoot, loop. And yeah, never good. I feel like it's probably pretty quick and quick and dirty. Oh Done. no, the the dead the dead bodies are definitely what fuels the machines that makes the the like time <laughs> transponders. Uh-huh. Like, uh, it's just a big urn. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it makes know? sense. I yeah. mean, with the guy because there was workers yeah. passing bodies in the hallway, and, like that goes right in the shoe. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> that's exactly. power. That's time energy. Yeah. That These are yeah. people. <laughs> Uh, about our episode no. on the island of Dr. Moreau, mm. Steve Coat writes in and says it's scoring a big with a 4.4 on IMDb. Wonder if it's a fascinating muster, an underrated cult movie. I can't wait to hear your comments Saturday Night Freak Show. For sure, it's not real genius humor. Ah, uh, real genius. I mean, stay tuned for, I mean, at this point when you're hearing this, the episode's out already, so listen to it. But I... It's not as fun as you think it is, unfortunately. It really isn't. Like, I wish it was as aw- I wish it pushed it a little bit more into the awesomely bad territory, yeah. but it really do doesn't. Too. I wanted yeah. more piano duets. Yeah. In that fucking movie. Yeah. Agreed. <laughs> uh, all right. And from our humanoids from the deep episode, Muller Moral writes in and says, Could you do a review of Roger Corman's Galaxy of Terror and Forbidden World, aka Mutant 1982? Question mark, question mark, question mark, question mark. I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Exclamation, 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 exclamation. That's a... So exciting. I mean, I'll put it on my list, man. You know? Colin, we, we all have, have lists Galaxy going. of Terror, I'm assuming? I did watch Galaxy of Terror after, because okay. I'm the Corman kick. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I was like, I get, do I need to bring this to the freak show or not? So, unfortunately, Muller, uh, I had a bad experience with that movie, and I didn't want to share it or inflict it upon sure. uh, Probably good. the folks here. Probably good. Sure. Although, uh, Forbidden World also has an awesome trailer. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so it's a maybe, but I haven't seen it. And to be honest with you, the uh, the Galaxy of Terror experience kind of soured me on going any further. Because I think I watched uh, Battle Beyond the Stars mm-hmm. and Galaxy of Terror with the idea that I would watch Forbidden uh, World after that. And those like, two nope. were like, I can't do another one. Mm-hmm. There you go. Mm-hmm. 
Yes. You can only take so much. You shouldn't marathon this shit. You should just. Uh, yeah. Yeah, but I, that's how I get. It's like, I'm going to watch know, a bunch you, of you, you keep watching until you reach a threshold, and then you're just like, I can't watch any more of this shit. You're hoping that you saw the good ones? You're hoping. Before you tired of them? Mm hmm. But I mean, we, I mean, we all keep lists of things that we have, yeah. you know, that we want to bring to the free show eventually. So we are always looking We're for always suggestions. We're always taking recommendations. Sure. Um, always. That li- for no me, that list shifts constantly. Yeah. I, I will put something on my list, watch a trailer and be like, oh God, move it down a little yeah. bit. You know, like my list is constantly changing. Mm-hmm. So oh, but sometimes and, they have bad trailers and they're awesome movies. Yes, <laughs> I know. Yeah, sometimes yeah, they have true. good trailers, trailers and they're bad, bad then movies. I, and then you yeah. bring Cemetery Man to the podcast. Yeah, yeah. And then nobody likes it. And guys, Summer of Summer. Canon is right around the corner, so please suggest your canon movies oh, no. to me. I will take them into consideration. Mm-hmm. You just all wait for Ghost. Ten yeah. to midnight. I'm just throwing that out. Sure, sure. Death, I'll put it on my list. I mean, three. I'm going to be honest. I got Invasion through. USA. I got through my favorite canon movies last summer, so I'm open I'm to suggestions. Right? So. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm not surprised it was a short list and you yeah. got through them for that yeah. one summer and just yeah. like, oh. Quick shout out. I have to do a quick shout out. Uh, on our Delta Force episode, in our wrap ups, I had requested that people please tell me where I can get a copy of Sidekicks. And I have to say thank you to Johnny New Jersey for helping me find Sidekicks. I now own it on DVD. Oh, bravo. It is the it's also, um, it is the worst copy of a DVD in the history of time. But it, you have I it. think they just converted it from a VHS. I'm sure they did. That's probably yeah, the only you way you can, can get it. You can see the tracking. It's wonderful. <laughs> um, but I now own it and I watched it. That's and called nostalgia, my heart, Holly. My heart is full. Uh, heart so is you're full. bringing that next week so I can borrow it, right? Uh, possibly. Okay. okay. She's <laughs> never gonna let it out of her. I, mean, I, might not. Not. I might not ever let it go. You might not. I might not ever I let it go. Really like to watch it again. Thank you, Johnny. Appreciate it. What is it? My heart is full now. Johnny. I don't know, Johnny. Oh, I thought you said I thought you gave him. A it was like Johnny New Jersey. Johnny New Jersey. He's from New Jersey. Oh, okay. I don't know. Oh, that's a good no, name. He's, he's Johnny New Jersey. Johnny New Jersey. New Jersey. Johnny New Jersey. Johnny Jersey. Johnny Jersey. We're sorry I'm, if I'm we're for messing it. up anybody's names. But, but seriously, but you got the nickname Johnny New Jersey. It's just, Johnny it's just New Jersey. Because we're awesome. idiots. It's but, we're idiots. Yeah, it's because we're idiots. We love that you're writing in. Thank you very yes. much. We appreciate every single one of you. We really yes. do. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to go around the room and we're going to tell you what each of us thought. Our final reviews of. In time. Going. He's poking me. What did you think <laughs> of Justin Timberlake's In Time? Uh, I feel remiss that none of us mentioned Logan's Run during uh, oh, watching this movie. Yeah. I haven't which seen Logan's is, Run. But it's a movie where like, you die at 30. Mm-hmm. You know, that's the life expectancy in this society. And then there's a guy who is like, he goes around killing people who get to 30. And then he turns 30. He has oh! To run. oh yeah. See the thing is so, I saw oh, Lo- I saw like Logan's Looper. run. I saw Logan's run in like film class like thirteen Same. years ago. Yeah. And I'm just like, I don't even sense. I, yeah. yeah. I kinda wanna see that now. But this one goes like, yeah, thirty's too old, we're gonna make it twenty five. Right. This is <laughs> like we had to do better than Logan's run. Well, twenty five. Okay, but no one ever says they were wish they were thirty forever. No one has ever said that ever. Everyone always says they would wish they could be twenty five forever. Well. That's Probably, I think, yeah. Let's be a, real. You'll, yeah. change, you'll change your mind once you hit 30. You will, actually. <laughs> I, you will. I, saying, I would rather be 30 than I would rather be 30. Yeah. I would rather be 30. I'm not saying my personal preference. I'm just saying, like, All those in people American there, I would rather society, be 30. the 20s are valued at a different level than the 30s. Very true. I would rather be 30. Yep. It's better. Well, when I first watched this movie, I thought it had a novel concept. I guess that's the thing that it has going for it. This is back when it came out, probably in 2011. I didn't see it in the theater. I watched it on video, but I liked it, right? Mm-hmm. This time around, I sat there, but it, it I, I liked it, but it was also kind of like, yeah, I'll give this a passing grade because, you know, I was entertained while I watched it. And like I said, it's like they came up with the concept and then built the movie around it, all right? Uh, this time around I was watching it and I was less entertained to be honest with you. The like Michaela said, the first 25 minutes, actually, I would even go longer than that. It was well into the second act and I was still kind of like, you know, actively thinking about what was going on in the movie. And then, and I don't even know specifically when it happened, but it kind of seemed like I just stopped caring about it. It was like scenes are running on. It's like, when the fuck is this going to be over? And like, are we getting anywhere close to the end? And it just seemed like it was never going to happen. So it did have an intriguing setup this time around, I guess. I don't know. I was watching it with the idea, you know, because I guess it got into my head early on. I'm like, 
you know, here's another one of these movies that basically says we side with you, the working class of America. And we're going to show you the movie where, you know, you have this fantasy experience where you can go and indulge in the, you know, the upper crust life or whatever. But really, those people are evil motherfuckers in there because the the thing that like that it kept hammering it's like home Last Jedi was that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> sorry. That's a conversation sorry. for another. Sorry. Uh, so sorry. But it kept the, the thing I guess I was trying to grasp was like, who put the fix in? Because they are never identified. And that's kind of what I was talking about, you know, trying to find out if like you guys had an idea. Is uh, you know, the Vincent Carthizer character like the overlord, but he's not. It's like who installed the pacemakers? Who, mm-hmm. you know, it's like I couldn't get this out. But it's basically the idea being that some um authoritarian figure i mean at least in the the hunger games you know if you want to draw that analogy gives you a professor whatever the hell his name is or pre- president um president snow snow, snow. Mm-hmm. yeah um you know that you can direct your ire at but this one doesn't it's like the fix is just in somehow the society itself is designed to oppress the working class who has to toil away at the machines, right? It, this is going back to the Metropolis thing. And uh, by the end of it, it's like the way that, that this uh, society situation is solved is by our heroes, you know, breaking into banks. There's like, there's a line that's repeated a couple times that I think, you know, actually Michaela had a problem with this and I'm sitting there going like, yeah, Right? It was it Holly? You were saying that the if it's stolen and you steal it, is it still stealing? Oh yeah, no, was- no. <laughs> Justin Timberlake's uh, 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 Amanda Seyfried says like something about like well it's stolen, and he says well like if it's if it's if you steal if you steal that's something stolen. that's already stolen, is it still stealing? And I just literally out loud like got reaction was like well yeah. Like, yeah. cause, I mean, your actions are not dependent on the previous person's thing. No, it's because like, it's not how of, that works. It's right. trying to it, it's trying to exonerate a person. Like if yeah. like if I come by yeah. something that was stolen, I didn't know it or yeah. whatever. You if know, you it's kill, like well, it is trying to exonerate the people who were doing the stealing like, yeah. that you're supposed yeah. to like. Yeah. Right. If you kill a murderer, are you still killing? Yeah, you are. Yeah, that's yeah. a you're better analogy. It, it yeah. does not yeah. matter what the other person did. It matters what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. So basically, you're not innocent, Dexter. It tries to get to the this point where it's like well we're gonna form this utopia you know where everybody's equal because everything else just isn't fair i thought that a lot too when i was watching I'm like these characters are just rebelling against the system the fix is in and they just don't think that it's fair and so they're trying to to make it fair and so we're going to give everybody the same amount of time right or whatever and but then you know then like holly said you have this like but then who's going to make their stuff? I mean, they yeah. are going to collapse. And I guess this is the thing. It's like it, the movie's trying to direct you to, towards like a socialist utopia, but it doesn't go any further than that. It's mm-hmm. like, well, it is going to collapse at some point. It's like, this mm-hmm. is a tragic story, yeah. you know? And I guess you still have the adventure of following the two characters as they're going to go off on this, like, you know, cause they have to free the world, but they're actually condemning it to uh, a horrible, awful death. Mm-hmm. They're freeing it for a short amount of time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For, yeah. yeah it's It'll the get worse before it gets better, but yeah. 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 So I don't know, uh, watching it this time, I think, you know, with that on my mind, I'm like, I don't agree with that idea at all. I think that's kind of flawed, flawed logic Two, it only had, uh, entertainment value through like about, like I've said, it's almost like 50% of it. I was entertained by it. I thought Timberlake was, you know, acceptable as an actor. The guy who annoyed me was Pettifer. Cause I was like watching him going, He's you trying know, to make is, something of it, you well, know? This is like the, it's the um, easiest, like, bad guy uh, performance. Yeah. 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 You know, this is how you talk like when you're a bad guy. Okay. You know, I mean, it was all that. It was very mannered. And it was like, Jesus Christ. Um, so I don't think that I would recommend that you watch this movie. I think I, I like. I think you should go back and watch Gattaca, obviously. And it's <laughs> in, on my great. mind because the guy <laughs> and had the Truman it. Show, too. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I yeah. love the Truman Show. That's a great movie. Gattaca's really good. See, so yeah, I should go back and watch the Truman Show. I haven't mm-hmm. seen that. Oh, yeah, you should That's watch a great that. movie. Good. Lord of good movie. War. And Lord of War, dude. Lord of War, Lord of War is and awesome. And Lord of War, because yeah. it's been recommended. So uh, I'm going to say pass. I've talked too long. 
I hand it off to Sean. Sean, what'd you think of in time? This is the movie where uh, Andrew Nichol uh, mm-hmm. failed. Uh, everything else before this, just like, yeah, we like that. That was yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this movie, we're just like, mm, no. It made $175 like it. million. Dollars, uh, Sean. Apparently, I think that was the Justin Timberlake fans coming in. So he's in a movie? Because how many movies was he in before this? I don't Alpha think. Dog? I think Alpha Dog, but he was a, was a social, uh, social network. Social network was 2009, It was before that. 2010, so at was, least two movies before this. Yeah. But this was like starring Justin Timberlake. So I think that brought in a lot of fans of Justin Timberlake. Um, this movie doesn't want to... It, it has no interest in the questions that the viewers of this movie, I think, have while watching this movie. Because um, the things I'm interested in... I, 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 do, I like movies like this where they, where they take a specific idea... Time is the currency. You have a specific amount of time. They get very specific with the idea that they're going with for their movie, but they they don't want to answer any questions about it, which is like it's that's the things that interest me about this. Like I want to know I'm interested in the rules of this. Who created this? How did this become implemented? And this happens to be a movie where they don't want to they don't think that's the interesting part of the movie. They want to sidestep that and and kind of count on Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried um, being more interesting than the rules that they've set up and what they want to do with the movie. Um, I don't think it is. Um, I want to know more about the things that they don't want to talk about. Who implemented this stuff? Who's in charge mm-hmm. of all these things? Mm-hmm. How did this stuff, when did it start? How did it get there? That's the stuff I'm interested in, and they don't want to talk about it. Um, you let me know, ask you that. Oh, sorry, you know what else I thought of during this was Snowpiercer. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I was yeah, going right, to say that right? earlier. For sure, like, yeah, definitely. They, compartmentalize. they just lived there their whole lives. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so if you don't, if you don't look at the uh, the actual the sci-fi technology, mm-hmm. right? Which I think is what you're saying. As a sci-fi fan, that's, that's where you focus. Interesting, that's the interesting stuff. Yeah. But if it's a parable, then it did it convince you that like this is you know it's like this is uh, what I mean like the way the opportunity to. A better, you know, society or something. But you've like that. seen Overthrowing that story. Oppressors. Told so many times. And- I, I mean, I know that. I know that story though. And having it's not Robin Hood. This right? is also the. Yeah. Not, this is also the first time I've seen this movie. But this is also a movie that was made in 2011. And look where we are now. Mm-hmm. Like I've, I've, I've seen or experienced like this story and what they're trying to say. I think multiple times over since that time seven years on at this point i mean it's a tale as old as time right you it, know it's right. probably it really you is know, it's tale as old as time oh all right oh, yeah. yes yeah, yeah, right. yeah. that was sure, that was yeah. not sure. even that was not on sure. purpose yeah. that sure. deserves no. a drink yeah. i mean it really is i like yeah. how we almost missed that one we yeah. did very good <laughs> because i wasn't trying I'm it, just, just, I was it really talking. is um and, you know, they try their best here, and there's some interesting elements to this movie and stuff I like, but I think it's more the sci-fi elements that I do like rather than the the parable of the story they're going for, because I know that story, and I know what they're trying to do, and I know what they're trying to say, and I'm just like, all right, I get it. I'm more interested in the trappings of the sci-fi universe that they want us to be in. So, so um, like, Does it work sure. as an action adventure? <laughs> Not for me, because it mm. meanders. Action like, is a stretch, I Because, think. I mean, mm-hmm. Justin Timberlake, if he, if Justin Timberlake was more focused mm. on, like, avenging his mother, I think it would have given the character more purpose and more of a direction for the story to go. That should be the uh, more story, of, right? More of a drive. Yeah. I mean, it should be. Maybe we'd, Maybe the story is not as interesting if he sticks on that and keeps going. I don't know. Um, but I think it would have given the movie maybe more drive. Uh, you know, it would have made the uh, the goal of what he's trying to do like more uh, more apparent because I'm not entirely sure like where he wanted to go. I think mm-hmm. they just decided like, oh, well, now we'll just rob the quote unquote banks and give time to everybody else. That's mm-hmm. where they just ended up doing it. I don't know if that's avenging his mother, but I mean, it kind of is, but I don't know. It didn't seem very focused. Um, he didn't carry that burden with him. No, he didn't. It got he you know, went. He left that burden really early ghetto. on <laughs> after basically yeah, after his mother died. Um, I don't think the movie is uh, very focused. Again, there's elements that I like, but they don't explore them, or they don't want to, or they think the other elements are more interesting than that. So, uh, I don't recommend the movie. Um, again, it's got some good points, but uh, you could probably skip this one unless you're a big Justin Timberlake fan. Mm. You could skip it, <laughs> Holly. Um, yeah, no, I, I, are you I, a big Justin Timberlake fan? You know, I, I'm, I'm really not. Uh, I, I think he's okay. I think he's okay. Uh, 
I I was a fan of Insync when I was NSYNC like fourteen. Fan, not sure. JT we fan. all were. I was like fourteen, for two different sure. things. Yeah. Um. Yeah. No. Um. I I I am definitely agreeing with Sean on this one. Um. I feel like you were hitting all the points right on. Um. I I think that the plot holes in this movie, the the answers we didn't get, is the interesting part. That's what we wanted. Um. And I agree that he, he didn't. None of them really ha- seem to have the motivation to do anything that they're doing. It just doesn't feel like it's there. Um, I, 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 I do think it's believable that someone would just like be really upset and all of a sudden want to go do something and then realize that his plan's not really working out. So that's actually kind of believable to me. But, f- but for a movie, it doesn't work. You have to have more of a plan. You, ha- I, I feel like there's so much missing from the script and there's just. It's all that it could have been a really fun. It could have been a really cool movie. It really, it the potential is there, but it just didn't hit the mark. Like you said, we've seen this movie in a, a lot of different versions. I was actually thinking I, I watched a movie with a very similar concept called Timer, where everyone has everyone has like <laughs> that's, an, the title that's the name of it. Holy shit! Everyone has an implant in their arm, and what? It, and it ticks down to when they meet their soulmate. Well, you know, this movie's Ooh, been yeah. sued like six times for copyright. Oh, I'm yeah. sure, with a general yeah. idea as... as been, I mean, none like of them have one, actually yeah. gone like sure. full full stop through but the But everybody, everybody's but had this been, idea. It has been taken to court <laughs> six different times That's over not copyright. Surprising. Damn. That's not surprising. But this other movie I watched, uh, you know, they, they have this implant... They they can choose to have it removed, but they it counts down to when they meet their soulmate, and like the whole point was. I'm already more interested. Yeah, in no, the, the, the whole of that movie. The whole point was like, do you live your life based on when you're going to meet someone else, or do you just want to do it organically and Damn, live your that's life? Deep. Man. It is no, it really Holy shit. More it sounds like a Japanese anime. That's really heavy. It really like. is. There is, and it was. It was actually a really. It was a decent movie. Um. Yeah, so I, I kind of thought of that the whole time. I'm like, that was such a simpler movie. There was nothing futuristic, nothing like mm-hmm. in depth. It was just like a simple movie with like basic characters, but it was really kind of beautiful. And this was just over the top, and it lacked that that L- depth, literally like, and figuratively. <laughs> yes, exactly. They went over the top, and it just didn't work this time. It worked for yeah. Stallone, did not work for Timberlake. Yeah, nope. but these characters. Were <laughs> not just... many things do work for one and the other. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. But I was just comparing the two movies. I was like, you know what? This other movie was an indie movie, and it was just really simple. But those characters were so deep, and these characters were just so shallow. And that was my point, like of why I didn't really care for this movie. They were very shallow characters. Yes, and totally agree. It just didn't hit the mark for me. I was kind of, I was kind of bored with it. Um, so I wanted to like it, but just didn't work for me. So I can't recommend. Mm-hmm. Michaela. Uh, uh, you you hit it on the head with saying that like the, <laughs> couldn't the we have called this Justin time? Oh, that's a good word. Wouldn't that, wouldn't that have Justin been better time. considering Take Justin drink. time? Mm. That would have been better. The yeah. working titles for this movie were fucking terrible. They oh. were now, and I'm oh. immortal. Oh boy. Um, I I think this movie should be called Runtime because they run through this whole oh, fucking. They really do. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Is that one or okay. no? Runtime. Yeah. Run time. <laughs> All right. Just run because time. I, also, yeah. we'd all be like, what's the uh, runtime of this movie? Mm-hmm. Uh, Holly, I agree with the, the like, no personality, no character, yeah. no chemistry. Um, I took a very specific note during this movie that um, Amanda Seyfried and uh, Justin Timberlake have the chemistry of two cold dead fish slapping together. Like, that is that is their fucking chemistry in this movie. It is I've seen that. dog shit. You know, yeah. it is terrible. Yeah. I think if you cast those two leads differently, you have a different movie. I think you put maybe an Emma Stone or an Emma Watson in that role or... Fuck, I don't know. Put Matt Bomer in the lead role. Like, I think he was better <laughs> in this movie than fucking JT was. I think Matt um, Bomer shows emotion better. Yeah, I think so, too. I think that, like, the little bit of we got of him in, in this movie was better than most He's people. Got better eyes. Yeah. Um, oh, but like God, he does, I kind of felt like he kind of wore the weight of his burden on his face, you know, yeah. which most people in this movie did not. Um, he looked tired. Yeah, he really did. <laughs> he did look exhausted and kind of like I'm over this life. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, I've just Matt been Bummer. watching like old private detective movies. Mm-hmm. Would he be a good like you know put a fedora on like him a Dick and, Tracy oh, probably. type? Oh yeah, Philip Marlowe for sure. Uh, God, I want a Dick and, Tracy. Yeah, let's with do Matt it. Bummer. Yeah, let's do it right now. Hanging out of his mouth. I yeah. love it. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah. Matt Bomer oh, seems hot. like he'd be too serious for a Dick Tracy movie. Well, Dick Tracy, but like he was uh, Magic Mike. Yeah. Sam Spade or just, Philip Marlowe, or yeah. Yeah, right. You got to update. Those. Just like a like a noir type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah he'd yeah. be a good noir type. Ooh, yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. I'm in. Been around Damn it, I want to see that now. Yeah. And I'm in for that. <laughs> Watch that. No, I want to see so that. So in for that. Um, there's, the, the thing about this movie is it sets up such a such an interesting concept and then fails to deliver on that concept. The first, like, you know, 30 minutes are really great. The world building seems really good in the first 30 minutes. And then, like, they just don't continue it at all i don't care about what amanda Seyfried and justin timberlake are doing i'm not here for them i'm here i'm here to see how they exist in this world and they don't show me that mm-hmm. um i love killian murphy he's one of my favorite actors ever i th- i think he can do no wrong and i think he's trying his best in this movie i just think he is not deserving of this movie i really like it he he deserves better than this um i think he did the best he could given the shit material he mm-hmm. was given um, yeah, he he was fine. It was yeah. just that character wasn't because yeah. it wasn't written. It was written how everything else was written. Yeah, in this. and two it, dimensionally. Yes. Yeah, two dimensionally yes. exactly. Um, it introduces so many interesting concepts, and they start off with the time puns, and then they drop all of it. It almost feels like the first act was written by someone different than the second and third. Like if you had told me this was like an exquisite corpse like project where like you write the first act, you hand your piece of paper over to someone mm-hmm. else in the class and they write the next, I'd yeah. be like, Okay, that that makes sense. Sure. It does not feel like it was written by the same person. Mm-hmm. Um I didn't go into this wanting a futuristic Robin Hood. Not here for that. I just want I just want to know more about this world and how it functions and like how you can get by in this world and how you can succeed in it and move up move up the social ladder. And, like, there are certain details, like, you know, him eating really fast and, like, and um, him drive. Like, they talk about how someone who has a lot of time drives really slow. Things like that are really nice. But they really stop doing that in, like, the second act. Like, they plant all those seeds in the first act and then they just stop doing it. And I, I, I would just, take a drama, like just a straight drama with, with this yeah. concept in it. Would Maybe it even be like a stage it doesn't need to be play, a thriller you know? or anything yeah, like yeah. that. Just like just, it, just well, what a, would the a, stakes a, be though? Because it's trying to be just social a commentary. On life. It's aren't yeah. aren't the stakes that, that, just that you have to live like hand to mouth every day? Isn't that enough? How do you of a live stake? when yeah. you know how much time you yeah, have? Exactly. It's just a meditation yeah. on what you do. What time means? You wouldn't do like the I got two guns and they killed my mom. No, 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 no. Okay, this, whole, not, you're no, right, this right. whole concept needs to be in a <laughs> different genre even, yeah, yeah. to do well yeah. or to thing. be good. If, if you're smart, like it doesn't even need to be that big. It could be a very small mm-hmm. scope movie. The very scope small. of this movie is too big. That's yeah. the problem. W- w- one of the many problems. But like, if you do the whole like you know how much time you have left and you're going through your day to day life, like you said, Sean, that's very much like a cancer analogy, right? right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. Uh-huh. there, there you go. There's your yeah. emotional Halfway beat. Halfway through There's this, your... they made it into a western. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Oh, but like a super boring western, yes. right? Yeah. Like, oh, yeah, not a you good know. One. And we're we're speaking as people around this table that love westerns, but like a mm-hmm. super boring western. Right? Yeah. yeah. Also, how did that car accident not kill them? Right. right. Yeah, it's a convertible. It's a convertible. Thank you. They you flipped they, over three times. Their neck snapped. And... Like, they're oh, dead. Yeah. 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 They should have been dead. Fuck yeah. that. Um, anyways, I don't recommend this movie. I recommend watching maybe the first 20 minutes and then shutting it off. Go watch Gattaca. Um, go watch Gattaca. We all, we all recommend Gattaca. Gattaca's good. A uh, Lord of War. Go watch that. Um, don't, don't watch this movie. Yeah. Well, thanks for bringing it to Saturday Night Fever. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I figured it'd be a good conversation. To talk yeah, about. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yep. So uh, that's in time on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And next week, we're going to be watching a movie that's chosen by Colin. What are we watching? Uh, we're going to watch an overlooked, underappreciated action classic that is turning 30 years old Ooh. this year. Mm-hmm. I know you're going like, what came out in 1988? I know Die Hard came out in 1988, but that was overshadowed. One of the greatest action movies of the 1980s. And I'm talking, of course, Commando. about Rambo 3. Yes! <laughs> yes! Rambo 3. Rambo 3. <laughs> Do I need to watch Rambo 2? I'll just tell you all about it. Okay, that's fine. That'll be good. That's fine. Uh, so that'll be next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. And until then, ladies and germs, the basement is going dark. <laughs>